Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Today I'm going to show you how to convert your PSP ISO games into CHD format to use with the PPSSPP emulator. First thing we're going to want to do is go to the link in the description and it's going to take you to this Reddit page. CHD support added to PPSSPP. But we're going to scroll down until we get to baby win and here is a bunch of bat files that's going to help us out so you're going to want to click on the link and download it, it's very small and you can see right here on the getting started PPSSPP page they are telling us CHD is supported from PPSSPP 1.17. So you have to be on 1.17 or newer in order for this to work. They also point out here that your CHDs need to be created with CHD Man Create DVD. So when you're doing PS1 games and Dreamcast games and things like that, most people do Create CD. So create DVD, but it's all done in these batch files. So here we have our user friendly. It says for RetroPie, but we can use it for Windows. So we're going to right click, 7-zip, extract here. And we'll have this folder. And we have a bunch of bat files in here. So we want to create CD. And you can do it from a QBIN file, a GDI file, or an ISO file. And that'll convert it to CHD for PS1, Dreamcast, so on. The Create DVD, you can use BINQ, GDI, or ISO. And that is the one we're going to be using today, PS2 and PSP. Then you can go ahead and extract your CHDs if you would ever want to. So I'm going to snap this to the side. And I'm going to go to where I have my PSP games. And all I'm going to do is drag them into the CHD man folder, just like that. And I'm going to hit create DVD. And this process will run through. It is going to take some time, so I'll be back once it's complete. So here we are. We are almost completed our third one, and there's the window it closed. And now we have CHD files. So I'm going to put them back in my PPSSPP games folder. This time, instead of having my ISO games there, I'll move my CHDs. So there's one, two, three. So let's do a size comparison. So Bust a Move Deluxe was originally 66.9 megs and it dropped all the way down to 36.1 the Capcom Classics Collection Remixed was 545 it's now 487 so not a huge savings but I mean if you've got a large library it'll add up the Darkstalkers Chronicle The Chaos Tower 660 is now 394 so that's a pretty big savings right there and then you can choose what you want to do with your ISOs if you want to delete them. Um, every time I do it, I just test my CHDs to ensure that they're going to work. So I'll just mute and run my PPSSPP. There we go. So let's launch a game. There we go. So I'm just going to exit out. Exit. And if you want, just stay tuned and I'll show you what happens if you create your CHD files incorrectly, at least for PPSSPP. So this time around, I'm going to accidentally click Create CDQ instead of Create DVD. And it's still going to process the file. I just chose this one because it's a small file, so it won't take long. 
And now we do have a CHD file. So I'll put it into my PPSSPP games folder and I will launch the program. Games. Let's launch. See? Bad CHD file. Compress using create DVD for good performance. So I just wanted to give that quick little tip at the end. If you get that error, it's because you clicked the wrong batch file. That's going to do it for this one, guys. I really appreciate you watching. Please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, but most importantly, have a good day.